Deus in adiutorium meum intende, Domine ad adiuvandum me festina, Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Alleluia. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next, before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth you are God without beginning or end. You turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like the grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades, so we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger, our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. From the farthest bounds of the earth, May God be praised. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, The coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steppe and its cities cry out, The villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Selah exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter his praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero. Like a warrior, he stirs up his ardor. He shouts out his battle cry. Against his enemies he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, 
holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All the herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown, I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them, and make crooked ways straight. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. From the farthest bounds of the earth, may God be praised. You who stand in His sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord. In the courts of the house of our God, praise the Lord for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to His name for He is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for Himself, and Israel for His own possession. For I know the Lord is great; that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever He wills. In heaven, on earth, in the seas, he summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries, he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians, he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt. Against Pharaoh and all his servants, nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, he let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Gloria patri et filio. Et spiritui sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation, and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one from the beginning. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one from the beginning. He has taken her to live with him. His loved one from the beginning, Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. The Lord has chosen her, His loved one from the beginning. The disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham. To set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, 
holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. The disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Son of Justice, the Immaculate Virgin, was the white dawn announcing your rising. Grant that we may always live in the light of your coming. Eternal word, you chose Mary as the uncorrupted ark of your dwelling place. Free us from the corruption of sin. Savior of mankind, your mother stood at the foot of your cross. Grant through her intercession that we may rejoice to share in your passion. With ultimate generosity and love, you gave Mary as a mother to your beloved disciple. Help us to live as worthy sons of so noble a mother. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you have shown us in the Blessed Virgin Mary the model of sublime love and profound humility. Grant that your church may be like her, obedient to your commandment of love, so that by giving itself wholeheartedly to seeking your glory, and to serving others, it may stand before all peoples as the sacrament of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Dominus nos benedicat, et ab omni malu defendat, et ad vitam perducat eternam. Amen.